Kosovo police and media reported that tensions were high in northern Kosovo on Sunday, with Serbs blocking roads after shots and explosions rang out overnight. No injuries were reported. The blocking of the roads with heavy vehicles and trucks took place a day after Serbian president said he would ask the NATO-led peacekeeping force in Kosovo to permit the deployment of 1,000 Serb troops in the Serb-populated north of Kosovo, claiming they are being harassed. Kosovo Prime Minister Albin Kurti accused Belgrade of trying to destabilize Kosovo. He said Serbia is trying to bring an end to the EU-mediated dialogue on normalizing bilateral ties and taking it to the United Nations Security Council, but Belgrade hopes to get support from Russia and China. The return of Belgrade's troops to the former Serbian province could dramatically increase tensions in the Balkans. The roadblocks which Serbs said were set up to protest the recent arrest of a former Kosovo Serb police officer despite the postponement of the December 18 municipal election that Kosovo Serbs were opposed to. Serbia's president, Aleksandr Vukic, said on Sunday that his message to the Serbs in Kosovo is that there is no surrender and there will be no surrender. Tensions have been high in Kosovo ever since it proclaimed independence from Serbia, despite attempts by the EU and US officials to defuse them. Serbia, supported by its allies, Russia and China, has refused to recognize Kosovo's statehood.